It's the greatest cultural hijacking of the last 2,000 years. The spirit of Carpe Diem, seize the day, has been hijacked from under our noses, and if we want to live life to the full, we have to claim it back. That phrase, Carpe Diem, was first uttered by the Roman poet Horace, and we still instinctively feel its power today. That's why people get Carpe Diem tattooed across their arm, or write it on their bedroom wall, or text their friends that you only live once. It reminds us that life is short and the clock is ticking. It calls us to grasp the most we can from our brief existence so we don't end up living with regret. But there's a problem. Carpe Diem has been hijacked by consumer culture. Their infamous slogan, just do it, really entreats us to just buy it. It's also been hijacked by the entertainment industry, which lures us to sit down and just watch it. And now it's being hijacked by the booming mindfulness movement, which tells us that seizing the day simply means living in the here and now. Just do it has become just breathe. We may have barely noticed it, but the hijack of Carpe Diem is the existential crime of the century. I'm Roman Krasnarek, and I'm a writer on the art of living and social change. I believe we need to seize back the spirit of Seize the Day, and this book is my exploration of how it can be done. I've immersed myself in the lives of great Carpe Diem figures, from the extraordinary Maya Angelou to the Russian anarchist Peter Kropotkin. I've delved into Seize the Day history and science, from medieval carnival and the 19th century opium craze to the neuroscience of procrastination. And from it all, I've discovered that over the centuries, Human beings have invented smart and powerful ways to seize the day that we urgently need to revive. 